Shalom again. Now, I and I, brothers and sisters, we we have to move forward, forward ever, backward never. But it's important for I and I to reflect. You understand? We we must know our past. We must know our history. Because uh, people will follow histories, or people will follow uh, roots. You know that if you don't have roots and knowledge of where you're from and and what your ancestors have gone through. This is why in this portion of, of Torah readings and seedings, as we still meditate and still sing psalms and read the holy books and remember and celebrate and honor the life of our of our um, dearly beloved elder, Dr. Gladstone Robinson, you know, we recall, um, let's just show you a couple of historic pictures, you know, um, you know, we want to kind of make this, as they call it, a requiem in a sense, you know, to, in a sense, to remember and, and hopefully, Jah willing, we will be able to go into that in more detail because this is a particular, to quote a brethren of I and I, we, we sucked, we broke bread together and even, even more so than that, you know, he spent time in I and I, in I and I house and, you know, there's a, Fellowship is good, you know. Fellowship is good. So when these ones whom we fellowshiped with and have had all cause to love have passed on, um, uh, all, all we can do is um, is sing psalms, pray remember, reflect, and, and be inspired, you know, more than anything else, to be inspired um, by their life and by their upful and, and, and positive works. There's a picture in this particular book here. When we had read the article by Wayne Rose, um, Baltimore uh, Rastafari Examiner, I think in the footnote they had... Uh, this is our brother right here. They, he talks about Brother Robinson in this particular book right here. You might have seen this particular book right here, From Babylon to Rastafari. And this book, um, right, and this book by this brother right here, Douglas, where is it, Douglas, there you go, Douglas Mack. You understand? And this brother among some, a few uh, honorary brothers and, you know, real stand-up brethren had the, had the, the honor to actually include um, Dr. Robinson. Cause we read all the histories concerning Shashimani land grant and seems to be some tribalism and other mixed-up moods and attitudes have crept in among some of our other brethren and some of the other elders where, you know, they sought to um, suppress you know, the involvement of Dr. Robinson, but at least this particular book, um, speaking about the second mission, this is a section on the second mission to um, Africa, it has the second mission members, um, 1963, from the left, um, with, you know, uh, with left glass on Robinson. Um, okay, this is actually uh, Brother Douglas Mack standing next to Gladstone. Um, Robinson right here, um, and you can see this picture right here. Okay, this is this is the, the picture right here, and this is this is the brother right here, um, Dr. Gladstone Robinson right there. You can see and holding a, a plaque, I think, a placard right there, and you can see where it says um, uh, it says why not Africa. Why not Africa, right? It says up there, why not Africa? This is from 1960s. You know, so when we, um, you know, consider 2012, you know, and this brother here was able to reach, you know, reach the, the special age of 82. You know, 82 is a significant and kind of a mystical, it's a mystical age too seeing that there's a connection with Hila Salazi. But this is all part of our story, part of our history, you know. And um, this is a beautiful book right here. It talks about um, um, 
you know, the works, the works that have gone on. I, I would just suggest, you know, ones and one should, uh, should, should get a copy of it or at least check it out for, for themselves. And we'll get into this a little bit more. But as we move forward with our Torah portion readings and feedings, um, because it's between um, 18 and 19, actually, the 18th Shabbat, which was last week known as Mishpatim, often called Laws or Judgments, and now we are in the, the 19th um, Sabbatical portion, um, if I'm correct, it's uh, Ruma, right, to Ruma, and this particular portion, um, Bamarinya, in the Amharic, let's, you know, we've been, you know, in some joy and some sorrow, too, yet that is to be expected, and this helps to mature us, too, about the realities. So we're in, um, yeah, Teruma, which means the gifts, yeah, Teruma, Teruma, Bamarinya is known as Meba, the Meba, and this is the 18th, this is the 19th, actually the 19th portion. And it's so very interesting because if you got a copy of this or have checked out the wiki, you know, the Wikipedia page for this for this particular portion, this is where we draw a lot of the basic information reference for this first this first volume that we publish. Um uh we go to page three sixty one. Three sixty one Teruma 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 Teruma. Teruma, Teruma, right? And this parsha, this portion, it tells of Jah's instruction to make the tabernacle, creating the tabernacle, to make the tabernacle and its um, and its uh, furnishing. So the Hebrew word of Teruma, Teruma, and it's the Hebrew for gift, for gift or or offering, a gift or an offering. And this portion here, the word teruma, is the twelfth word and the first distinctive word in the parsha in this uh, week's portion, reading and feeding. And it, this is the nineteenth weekly Torah portion in the annual Hebraic or or Ethiopian Hebrew cycle of Torah readings, or Rit Minbab. And it's the seventh in the book of Exodus. So we're in the seventh. Um, um, reading from the book of Exodus, and this seventh reading, it constitutes Exodus chapter 25 and 1 to chapter 27 and 19. Now, we as black Jews and Hebrews and elect Rastafari in the diaspora, we read it the 19th uh, Sabbath after the Simchat Torah, um, generally in February or early March. As we said, this portion tells of Jah's instruction to make the tabernacle and um, all of its uh, furnishing. And then it has this uh, picture, this, this, this diagram and layout right here of uh, Jai's tabernacle, of the tabernacle right there. Some say the tabernacle of Moses, but this is the tabernacle. So it speaks about the gifts, the gifts of the people towards um the tabernacle and, and, and all of its and all of its uh furnishing. And um previously in going over this, this portion we, we automatically saw the connection with Ethiopia and as well as when we look at the Exodus and we think about repatriation, there's the obvious connection with um Ethiopia, with Africa with I and I coming out as this Ethiopian Hebrew and elect Rastafari people. And um, we look at the pioneer settlers in, in, in Ethiopia and our beloved elder Gladstone Robinson as some of those first or earliest of those pioneers that, that went forth. And we've mentioned this before, and we also mentioned this to Robinson when he was, um, you know, when he spent time with I and I, I think we have this on one of our, on one of the recordings and videos that when we sat down and, you know, he was very open to 
allow us to film. He, he, he understood in his own way, he understood that much of what we had done then, the, the interviews and the recordings and so forth and so on, a lot of that was for pos, you know, posterity thinking about posterity and, and we also have to consider posterity. Posterity is a big word. Posterity does not mean just your own children. Posterity does not I mean selfishly, yes, you know, it can mean that. But when we look at this movement and this 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 family of God in Christ, of Rastafari of we as Ethiopian Hebrew people once lost but now found it goes beyond just the limitation of of direct blood um, connection. It goes to the, the spirit of God in Christ, to the very roots of our um, divine um, our divine heritage. And we recall discussing with Dr. Robinson that um, it's kind of amazing when you look at it because the land that we have there and that we were given by the King of Kings in, in the spirit of Christ is similar to the Israelites being given the promised land after they had uh, been brought out by the mighty hand of, of Jehovah God or of Yahweh out of that Egypt. But yet we read and we're learning in, in our Torah portion readings and feedings and the weekly studies um, we're learning that the people said that, yes, we will do the will of God in Christ, but later on they did what they wanted to do. And we've had some interesting and, and you know, discussion of that. And, and one thing that impressed us about Dr. Robinson is that when we made these connections between um, our divine heritage and how um, a, a lack of focus on that, had caused the movement of Rastafari and the repatriation movement to be in a state of um, suspended animation, a state of inertia. He, he quite rightly, you know, um, I'm, I'm agreed with that. And um, in our zealousness, perhaps we were we were a little bit harsh on certain on, on certain points. But one thing that highly impressed us was that. Unlike others, he did not give a, a, a fight on that, you know, on the, on the truth of the matter. And to see one who actually was there 40 years ago and actually witness these events firsthand, and, and besides his own testimony, I mean, we have the pictures from such a time. We have written newspaper, independent newspaper report from so many different angles. And to find that this, this particular brother, until recently, was almost written out of the history, out of the story. And yet 40 years later, he is one to testify and even became on a certain level, a rallying point for, for many of us, especially as African American. We can't, you know, neglect neglect that aspect. We do think there was a lot of tribalism um, amongst the lost sheep, you know, lost and found people that, you know, the you know, African American or Caribbean or Jamaican. And these white men use those things and many of us ignorantly um have have continued and even some to this day still continue in that um but we still have hope that they will repent themselves because if not you've read from the previous week's portion there is a judgment you understand the judgment is not just jah judging but jah has left certain judgment to i and i but first he wants us to learn to study to show ourselves approved and then to 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 practice and then to do so you know there are steps there are steps and and I want to move forward on this point but I'm just looking at some of this other information right here some of y'all may have seen this video this is a video we put out a couple of years ago Shashimani is still the issue and it has this this is the black and white of it, it has this picture of Dr. Gladstone Robinson 
in front of the Black Lion Museum in Etiopia, right here. And um, as you say on the back of this one, in fact, we're going to work to do a redux on this one. In other words, to um, try to update, you know, this is already out there. If you have a copy of this, then look forward to a redux of it. That means additional information is going to be put into the redux and update of Shashimane. Shashimane is still the issue because, you know why? Shashimane is still the issue. Shashimane is still the issue. Because if he's given us such such a a a a, a foothold, say a, a little a, a little thing, and if we can't handle the little thing, then how can we talk about the big thing? You understand? But it's our divine heritage that is the real key. So we call this a multi C D docu D V D series. So though this was, was part one, Shashimani is still is still the issue. We hope to be able to put out additional um footage, additional exclusive these are all exclusive interviews even with Dr. Robinson and some of the pictures, um, historical photos going all the way back to, you know, 1960, 67, and, and the, those 40 years ago. And, and, and the children, the, the posterity need to know about this because this is, this is your story, this is my story, this is I and I's story. But this series is, was intended to highlight the official Shashimani land grant of 1955 that was given to, quote, we, the black peoples of the world, the official membership of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated by the Lion of Judah, Revelation 5.5, 5, H.I.M. Haile Selassie I, the King of Kings of Ethiopia, the elect of God. And he's the elect of God. Let's understand that. We can say the elect of himself, but um, let's not deal with the interpretation before we bear witness to what actually his majesty bore witness to. You, you see what I'm saying? In other words, let's not deal with the mystical before we first of all just give the factual. So let's deal with the factual, then we can get to the mystical on our own level. But when we're bearing witness of him, so if somebody look and say, well, he, he elect of God, how come you're saying of himself? Because you're trying to explain your theological thing. If your theological thing is good for you, remember what we say in Ethiopia, we say, yeah, agar, agar so that's uh, man of, of, of inheritance, even after a thousand years, it's still his. But there's another one where it says, In other words, uh, the hymenote is your personal, your religion. Your faith is your personal thing, but the country is for all. This does not mean that we do not discuss or build up on our most holy faith. But it means that the, the faith should be a motivator for you to get involved with your, first of all, your God and your Savior to get the spiritual strength and then be involved in the progressive activity of your community and for us of our church, you understand? And if we have that divine heritage focus and reestablish Jah in the center and, and at the root of it, then things like governing a a a, a a a a world government such as the federation. The federation is the world government. The federation, we could say, is a new world order. Yes, it has difficulties. Yes, there may be disagreements among various parties, so forth and so on. But I and I will work these things out. John knows, you know. Um, Ethiopia has a 3,000-year, um, 3,000 years of history. Think about that, brothers and sisters. It has barely been a century since the revelation of Arastafari. So although, you know, we're in the midst of it, we have to see the big picture. You see, we have to look at the big picture. When we look at the big picture, these little minor things will be minor things, and we can focus collectively on the big picture. Um, but Shashimani is still the issue, brothers and sisters. Um, this was meant to be a major groundbreaking series chronicling the biblical fulfillment of prophecy. 
Psalm 68, verse 31, concerning the lost sheep, concerning we as the lost sheep, the Negroes, black folks, the, those who were the descendants of those who were sold into the trans-Ethiopic, transatlantic slave trade and, and who lost their identity. That's why most, um, most black people, even those who have the, the wealth, the money, the, the opportunity to get this message out, are not getting it out. And it's left to I and I, the poor righteous teachers. So be it. Our divine heritage, Amos 9 and 7, Acts 1 and 6, Acts 8 and 27. Um, on this DVD, this was the first one, it features rare footage of Rastafario, Bob or Robert Nesta Marley, and the official EWF Shashimani Land Grant Administrator since 1967. Dr. Gladstone Robinson, and we said watch and pray, and this is the picture right here, the black and white of it. Um, the issue of the administration of the land grant is, is, is still an issue that requires um, our attention, brothers and sisters, and since we are still speaking about um, our brother uh, Gladstone, brother Robbie, um, we also want to send condolences to his family, um, to his wife, and to his um, children. And I think he has a child that should be five or six or so years years old. In the other video, I think that is one of his children on his lap that you see right there. So we should send forward not only condolences but help and strength um, towards them and those brothers and sisters who are ready to, you know, be as some of the advanced scouts and to go on I and I behalf, you know, to the land and to help us set up a foundation so we can build a, a bridge. You understand? Know in this Exodus time, please get in touch, www lojsociety.org and in the title or subject line just write that you know ready to ready to go forward you know ready to continue this um the settlers the settlers we have a lot of settlement work that's still left to be done but stay tuned for this Torah portion reading and feeding because in the book of Exodus particularly it shows us the divine heritage way to get such a sustainable, a sustainable um, repatriation and, and settlement accomplished, how to um, focus on being the right people that Kedemawi Haile Selassie, that Haile Selassie the first that he spoke of. He said, next time, send the right people. I and I are seeking to be those right people, and those who are the right people are the people that we will be and that we will send and that we will support because there's there's too little time to repeat the mistakes you understand of the past we have to learn from those we have to forgive and we have to move on but first and foremost we have to repent we have to be born again that's how we become those right people that Haile Selassie spoke of. So once again, brothers and sisters, we're touching on a little bit of this, and we have showed this in the last video. Um, these are some historic, um, some historic photos. Um, some of the brothers in England. This is Brother um, Gladstone Robinson right here in the center. This is him in the center. This is, I think, Brother Obadiah. <laughs> you know. Um, this is with a local and some activities that he supported back then with some of the brothers and sisters at that time. This is about, I don't know, maybe 30 or so years ago, roughly perhaps about 30 or so years ago. And once again, we say, Ms. Ghana, to all the hard work and effort, and may we work together to build, you know, to build on that shore 
foundation in the will and in the name of Haile Selassie I and our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christos. So once again, stay tuned, brothers and sisters. More to come. Shalom.